So show me some teeth. Yeah, teeth is good. Now, yeah, look at you. See, uh, shit, you guys been drinking. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got this shot. It's perfect. I got this shot. Gosh, Scott, those are some pretty nice looking locomotives. Thanks, Ken. What have you done there? All right, well, on this one I'm putting on the track right now is a lifelike GP38 that uh, models represent one of the GP38 ACs that the Katie got uh, in late 1985, I believe is when they bought those. Uh, really the only thing is a factory decorated engine. I just patched it out, added the uh, lettering, and weathered it with uh, oils and uh, powders. On this one was a factory decorated Atlas GP40. It was a non-dynamic brake version when I got it. I ordered another dynamic brake or you know, to uh, represent one of the ex-Conrail engines that the Katie bought. Uh, pretty much just painted the, the dynamic brake, weathered it, same with oils and uh, powders. Uh, no airbrushing on it whatsoever. No airbrushing on, on no, any of Everything's these. done with oils and by hand with paint brushes. That's amazing. The uh, 300 is a factory decorated Atlas engine also. Uh, really not a whole lot to upgrade it. Put an all weather window in it, firecracker antenna, uh, A-line. Trucks look good. Yeah, trucks, I'll weather those, uh, replace the, put uh, brake lines on it, and also just weathered with uh, oils. Like every day, I think we've got a prototype coming by right now. Let's, let's go catch that. All right. Scott, these are some beautiful locomotives. Tell us, why did you choose to model these? You know, the prototype was uh, constructed in the Parsons shops on the Katy. They used uh, the engine that got destroyed and wrecked the unit uh, GP4222 for the slug. 
and the three, the prototype, the three engines were never separated. So the crews called them the Three Stooges. So I figured it was a pretty, pretty cool little set. So that's why I modeled them. Um, factory decorated Atlas GP40s on these two. The slug was built. I cut down an Atlas GP40 shell, uh, made the rest out of styrene, and just followed prototype pictures. And same with the other three engines. Weathering's all done by hand with oils and powders. It's really nice. Thank you. I, that's even if they don't bail out. Just assume Gary might want to get something to eat. I think my dad might go.